Welcome back. This is Lone Wolf and we're playing Vintage Story. Some weird idea I have. I'm basically playing in a manner such that I won't ever have a permanent base. I'll have some temporary bases, but uh, that, sh that would be to allow me to do certain things that you can't do without having some kind of place to do it. So, other than that, I'll be adventuring the whole time. That's the plan. I have no idea how this is going to work. There are things I guarantee I've not thought of that will probably be problematic. I've actually walked away from high fertility soil multiple times because I just don't see how I'm going to have a farm in this kind of play style. This uh, world is, is uh, a modified wilderness survival world. I am playing with mods. And since I don't think I'm, since I don't know how I'm gonna have a farm, there's no need for me to keep seeds, right? I mean, if one is true, then so is the other. This maybe I should heal myself up, eh? Don't have that much health to begin with. And these are longer videos than I've been making. And uh, let's see how that goes. This is just a, this is just, you know, a thought. This is a thought that I'm working to put into action. It could be the dumbest thing I've ever done. That'd be hard to top what I've done stupid in my life, but uh, it could be. I've no idea. Certainly could be the dumbest in story thing I've ever tried. But I had the thought and I wanted to do it, so here I am doing it in front of the world. No pressure. No, honestly I don't feel pressure. I'm just playing finished story. Well, I am not going to find anything in this kind of area, I don't think. I don't see... This is... I mean, you can't see anything here, so... How are you going to find anything? Yeah, we've got vegetables by way of mushrooms already. Otherwise, I'd be happy to be taking those morels, which I used to pick in real life, growing up in Oregon. Sell them to the big city, where they would use them in their dishes, their fancy restaurants. It was all good fun to me. Got out in the woods, wander around for the day, and it paid some money. Hard to argue with that scenario in my mind. Certainly at that age. Look at that. Can you believe I'm going to just leave that there? I am. Thing I don't really need any of those berries, but gotta have food. 
Although we did kill a cow. An arc. Arc. We take flight. Well, that's what we see sitting over here in slot zero. It's the lovely donation of an Arak. <gasps> yes, but you're ruined. I remember getting all excited about you before. Saw two of you. And what did it end up doing for me? Nothing. What in Hammond's name? Locus, okay. Not just locusts, but corrupt locusts. You could kill them, but I'd get nothing out of it. Thirteen, so we need seven more fibers, and we'll have our third linen sack. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, crap. I am not interested in finding the wolf, but uh, we will if he comes after me. I'm not sure you took notice of me. He, she, it. <gasps> no, he did not say what you thought he said, Father. He says she and it. Oh, well, it's a good thing. We wouldn't let you watch this stuff anymore, or that kind of language. No, Father. This man doesn't say naughty words. Okay, well, you can keep watching for now. <laughs> oh, he must be mad. He must be insane. And he probably is. Especially since he must be. Alright, done, done collecting blackberries for right now. Black currants for right now. Very much interested in more flax. Well, that turns out that I didn't probably really want to come this way. Uh, to the right, that is. I started coming down to head that way. And I looked over and saw what was there. And then I didn't want to go there. Be a rift. Don't ever let a rift come between the two of you. Yeah, this guy's weird. See, so it gets cold that way. Well, it's pretty cool here. It gets much cooler that way. Let's go for a swim. See if we can come ashore somewhere that we can maybe get atop the hills or something. Since that's what seems to be here is big old hills. Hello, fishy. Low lag. Not 
much, but some. It's less than you want when you're being chased by a bear. Especially a big old brown bear. Uh, or a moose. I don't want to be chased by the moose. But you don't always get to choose. Hello, raccoon. Well, this is different. Supplies. Wow. Seven days left. Okay, so we need four more. Yeah, come on. Trying to move. Oh boy. He says, with wonderment and puzzlement and absolute curiosity. Yeah, somebody else can have all this crap. Just get it out of my way, please. A quirk. Another torch holder. I have one in my... I have one already, I think. Therefore, having two will just cause them to stack. So when I go to set up... a temporary base... Maybe I can have two torch holders. And there they are stacking. Strangely, what I'm looking for right now are the clear, clear courts. There we go. We've got one of two to make a lantern. I'm being very optimistic here. upon mooses and bears and wolves, oh my. Five, look at that, almost enough for three lanterns right now. The exact opposite of what I usually am hoping for. On the other hand, I do know Quartz is perfect for lanterns. Dang, it's cold again. That's a pretty high ratio. Come, yeah. Think about it. Alright, so this is not exactly... Ah, uh, M, M doesn't work. This is not exactly ideal for finding things such as, oh, I don't know, flax fiber, etc. 
things that I could really use. This is good for finding wolves and bears. And clearly rifts. And for getting cold. It's getting warmer this way. Not by a ton. Well, that took all my momentum away and I couldn't even jump that little thing. Hello, my beauties. Not in this playthrough, sorry. So basically what we've done is we went that way, swam across the lake and came back over here. Of course, we were on that side, not this side. <laughs> Hello, chicken. Oh, there's someone I uh, some kin that I don't want to meet. That's a wolf right there. Just moving a little bit. There, now you can see him better. So, I'm um, going to try to avoid that. not ideal area for what I'm looking for, which is wax food. This is much better for food, grain, vegetation, berries. Ha! Huh. Well, lucky here. One fiber away. Sack number three. And yeah, this is a ruin we didn't uh, spot before. Oh. Wolf, how can you? How can you let it sit there like that? So this is a tribute to someone. Right? That's a grave marker there. It may be a grave marker, but no treasure chest beneath it. One more flex fiber. It's gotta be world gin lag. 
Oh, the cornflowers. And do I spy? I do spy wax. And now we have enough. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Does not say empty. Oh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five, six, seven, eight. I did. I think it says empty. Wahoo. Some more meat to cook. That was from the pig, huh? All right. Well, it looks like we're getting cold because we are getting cold. Oh. Well. I don't want to go to a heavy forest where I'm going to be doing battle. But it's kind of where I am, isn't it? Six in the morning. It's 67 degrees out here. How am I so cold? Because you're sulking wet, Wolf. Well, there is that. I don't know why I wasn't able to eat. Oh, for crap's sakes. That's not why. Feels like this is going to be the perfect kind of world and play style where a fire brazier would be excellent. So we're up to temperature. I don't know why I'm 
carrying these. So the reason I'm curing these hides is because then I can make uh, leather or fur, fur clothing, much warmer clothing for myself, which looks like that's going to be important in this play playthrough play style. Yeah, we hear you bees. I have no idea. Wow. All this little micro lagging. put here because my spear belongs in slot 5 but early game I don't have that pickaxe that slit sits in slot 4 so then I tend to put the spear in slot 4 which is not where it belongs Uh, I guess we could go see if we can find copper out here in the desert. Uh, we can find a hyena apparently because yeah, we're succeeding at that already. Uh, apparently I haven't, uh, done that. Is there one more thing I didn't do? No, that's... This sure seems like fog is on. If that's not fog, I don't know what it is. And if that's not dust, I don't know what it is. Maybe this doesn't work on Wilderness Survival. Okay, well, this isn't what I'm used to. My vision is bad enough, and it really is bad enough to require surgery. And I'm grateful to report that I've had one eye done now, and another one to go. Good grief. No wonder I turned this stuff off. This is not enhancing my joy. It's not ruining the game for me, but it's... I'd rather not have it.
Wow, we're in 96%. That'll stir up a dust storm. Great place for windmills, though. that that hill was kind of blocking the wind and preventing some of the dust but this is this is absolutely killing my eyes Pause this and see if I can't find something to get around this. Well, oh my. Oh wow, I haven't seen one of those for a long, long, long time. With all the banners on it? That's cool. Um, I didn't think I figured anything out. But I did restart my client i looked at configs and stuff but uh everything was set as i wanted it to be so maybe it required a client restart i don't know commodities huh okay I expect this uh, here to be all o drifters, or uh, not drifters, locusts. That's what I expect. Wow, I forgot all about these with the banners. Boy. This is from Bed ruins, in case you're wondering. Oh, locust what? How about drifters? Yeah. Wow, we took one of them out. Now we've got the other one's attention. Wow, Drifter Slayer. Ooh. -hoo. Of course we got dumb crappers over there. And I mean that with all the love in my heart. Wait a minute. <laughs> there is no love in my heart for these guys right now. one more <laughs> he's standing he's 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 watching his post another one or is that just this guy after death I, I don't understand the after you've killed him noise that they make. I, I don't understand that. I really don't have room to uh, take these drifters. That is to say, to harvest them. Oh, there's the locust. Yeah. Well, cool place. 
fun to see. Built some things, didn't gather anything from them. Got a rusty gear and some flax. Well, that won't get me up there. How about over here? That one won't get me up there either. But maybe this will. Ah ha 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 ha! Oh my! No, no, no! You're so stupid! Ah. There is a piece of, uh, okay. If there was a flower there, I couldn't smash it, but somehow I can destroy a piece of copper. Right. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Well, that's almost the 40 that I need. Dang it. There are some stupid choices in the design of this game. That's one of them. How can I put a piece of dirt down and make copper disappear? No, but I can't put some, put a piece of dirt down and destroy a flower? Yeah, you can do that. Sorry, I... I don't find it. I don't have a sense of humor about that. And we've been getting along so well. Well, that's 34 out of 40. In order for us to make our first tools. That is to say, in order to have enough copper to make our first tools, pickaxe, and a hammer. Of course, that only opens the world up to more of the things that you need. Need an anvil, need the uh, forge, need ingot molds. So you can pour copper and ingot mold so you can make a make an, uh, a saw blade. Nope, I don't have a lot of sense of humor when it comes to things that are hard to find and then something completely illogical. Oh, you put a piece of dirt, and somehow that copper, poof, went away. Wow, we could actually get that thing. Just let's ignore the livestock. Well, it's not really livestock because I can't domesticate it. Well, it's not livestock in my mind if I can't domesticate it. Let's put it that way. I have no idea what the definition of livestock is from that point of view. Oops, wrong key.
Settle down, Wolf. I'm settling down. It's just things that make no sense to me. And then when it's rare, you know, when you're desperate for it, you know, maybe a little more sensitive than you should be. Man, I didn't get locked all pissed off and angry. I certainly wasn't happy about it, but I don't think I was that overreactive. I hope not. I offered my explanation as to why I thought that was just really stupid. You get to choose for you. Just as I do for me. Things that do make sense to you and things that don't. So some lovely hyenas and there's a lovely little pup. Well, I don't know if he's lovely. Yeah, come on, the pups are lovely. Come on, Wolf. You know they're lovely. If nothing else, they're yippy. Like a small dog, yippy. Aha! I would ideally like to have minimum 80 copper nuggets, uh, 60 copper nuggets. It takes 20 per tool, so 20 for a pickaxe, 20 for the hammer, and really you haven't gotten as far as you'd like to go if you don't have a saw as well. Although I'm being silly because <laughs> Yeah, twenty more twenty more nuggets would be nothing because you gotta have an anvil and that requires nine hundred units. So one hundred and eighty nuggets to make an anvil, so what am I talking about? So you need the 40 so you get the hammer and the pickaxe so you can go to all these places where you found copper before and then you can dig them out with the pickaxe. And then you get chunks and then you need a hammer to smash them into nuggets because you can't work with the chunks directly. Well, actually, I think I was in the right area to find more copper. I'm not sure where I'm leaving. Because I saw a vessel there that I wanted to see what was in it. That's why. I got I got distracted. Or was that distracted? Hmm. Who's to say with the English language? Alright, we all know it's distracted, but The English language is an interesting language. Oh. Oh my... Why are you even on my hotbar? Oh, Wolf, you are such a moron. You get mad at the game, but you're the one that's causing the problems. Good grief, Wolf. So ideally, I'd like 220... I'd like 240 
nuggets. 180 for the anvil. 20, which makes 200 for the pickaxe. Another 20, so 220. And then another 20, 240. Gets me anvil, pickaxe, hammer, and a saw. And I just keep throwing the nuggets away like a moron. Oh, let's put some dirt on it. How about let's get the dirt off the bar? Then we reduce that problem down to, oh, I don't know, hopefully nil. As in not at all. As in eliminated. As in gone. So I guess when we make our first temporary place, oh, look at that. These are not uh, found everywhere, by the way. Silver torches, silver torch cactus. Uh, another seashell for a shantan. Here, copper, 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 copper. I need lots of you. And I really don't ever mean to throw you away. So I wonder if that's the trader we saw before. Hey, I've got a gear. So intense, so intense, so intense. Uh, I get sick of this song before it gets over. Oh, my brain is happy for that. Well, another ruin. Another Better Crates ruin. They tend to like to uh, put nasties in their ruins. Not always, but often enough. They also put lot, like to put lots of goodies in their ruins. a bowl. Now why didn't you stack? Yeah, I really want to know why they didn't stack. I really do. So there's a TL. Yeah, let's put a waypoint here. We'll know how to come back here. Well, because we don't have a map and we couldn't see it even if we put waypoints on it.
Oh, wow. So, tin bronze shovel and flint shovel. What do we have? Uh, fire clay, I'm thinking. This is flint, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ah, I really do hate the, the dang boulders. So we got, oh, it's just blue clay. Nothing wrong with blue clay. I'm sure we have no room in here for anything, but maybe we do. And that's what we're after, are these three items here. What else is here? In all this bony soil, I actually wouldn't mind panning. Oh, well, we got the scroll back. Wahoo! Or something. All right, let's see if we can get some music. Again. I swear that's the same song. More than I want to listen to. like meteorite hole, but uh, not what I'm after. Well, I wasn't done the desert yet because I think there's more copper in it and force doesn't want to want to go look for more copper on the surface not that it can't be there absolutely can be there do I want to go down or go up so I can look down now I don't want to go to the top of the world for crying out loud. Huh. But alas, we have. Two foxes. Well, we know the wolves are out because we've seen them. Maybe it's bears and drifters that are held back for 10 days. I know drifters are. Bears might already be out. I don't know. It hasn't been important enough for me to look into and find out the answer. Well, it looks like I can come down here. That was pretty high up there. Too bad I don't have coordinates to know how high I was. 
Oh, well, that was your choice, man. You're right, it was. You are sure right that it was. I chose. There's just literally no good reason that I can think of to go in there. As if there's copper in there, it won't be lying on the surface for me to just pick up like a butterfly. It'll be where I need to have a pickaxe to collect it. And I don't have one of those. Well, brown coal is great because that is hot enough for me to melt my copper with. So, yay. Well, we are 17 flax fibers away from having our fourth linen sack. We're not dying for it, but uh, yeah, it'd be lovely. Two more slots, always good. More slots, always good. And one of the things that I kind of keep hoping to find in one of these ruins is a storage vessel, one that isn't broken, because then we could place that on our back instead of the reed basket that we're grateful to have, but we'd rather have more storage than it's, what is it, eight slots, I think. Storage vessel would give us 12 slots. That's 50% more. Ooh, he did math in his head and it sounded like he knew what he was talking about. Theory. His wolf don't do good math in his head. And yes, he does know how to speak properly. But that wasn't what he was trying to do though, here. Yeah. Check out all these rocks on the floor, you know, that's no reason for them to not be copper. And if you don't look, you'll never know. And it's not that we're light on copper. I just, just really need a lot more in order to come up with 240 nuggets to fully uh, enter into the uh, well more than just the copper age I mean as soon as you get your copper tool you've got you in the copper age but we want civilization and uh, as some have suggested before and I agree completely with it saw as the beginning of civilization for a player. This must be that trader we saw from back yonder. All right, let's see what we got here. Commodities trader. Yeah, okay, we already talked to this guy, yep. All right. I wondered if this was the same feller. And I don't know where I went. I didn't go to search for copper. So we're just going to go searching. Like as if we've never been here.
Eddie Hina? <gasps> Keep the bad guys out. Well, uh hmm I don't need you I could need you at some time hopefully at some time I'll have some temporal gears and want to repair a translocator Uh, no, I have to, I have to, I have to uh, consider things differently because this is not a, this is not a normal, normal, uh, this isn't normal survival boat. And yet I'm still thinking in survi normal survival mode. stinking loud. I don't know if I've been around a torch before though. I mean a fire could be a loud thing, but it seems really loud to me. So I don't normally notice all these things because I don't normally play with headphones on. Except since I've been making content, if I want sound, I have to have headphones on. So that I'm not trying to record the speakers, which I never intended to do. I would think that if that was copper that I could tell. Like I have a close enough view of it that uh, it should stand out. Copper is welcomed. I think I turned the music off because that song was still on. And I didn't want any more of that loud song. can even turn this one up for a minute. Huh. She's got two pups. Assuming that's the mama. Could be the dad, who knows. I'm not well versed on hyena, high society, nor uh, family patterns. 
behavioral patterns of hyenas. Oh. Lots of hyenas and pretty soon there'll be lots or lots of pups. Soon there'll be all kinds of hyenas out here. And I don't know if I'll ever even be back here. Cells. same trader but I don't know I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna go meet it to find out either just gonna keep moving the numbers game you stop moving and then you stop you're guaranteed to not find anything if you're not moving you move and you have a chance to find what you're looking for. Oh, look at all these hyenas. Okay, so, yeah, we, re we remember there, but doesn't mean we were over here. And even if we were somewhere, that doesn't mean we found everything. or anywhere near close to found everything. Not exactly high stocked on food, are we? Because we've been out here in the rock long enough that we haven't been collecting anything, but being out here in the rock is where I've wanted to be recently. It's now around beautiful peridotite sand. And I do mean beautiful, I think it is absolutely Absolutely so. See if we can find any copper hiding out here. stay in the open right now where I can see scattered rocks and hopefully find some copper mixed in with that paradotype. We're going to see wool, uh, hyenas Wolves, yeah, okay. Nope, not wolves.
Nice. We got some berries. I don't know if I've been here before. Farming, I don't think so, but let's see. <gasps> Cabbage seeds. Man, I better not be farming in this playthrough. I'm going to be pissed at myself. Lead. Gold. Hmm. I dug under a ruin and I found something. Dang it, what am I gonna give? What am I gonna give up for the gold?
Dang it. Yes, brown coal we take. There's a trader down this way. All of drifts. Got a storage problem. Or is it an I want problem? He's got storage we could use for days. Who are you, sir? Sasha. Yeah, wolf. Really don't need free access to those. Well, okay. How will I how will I know you? I know I can put some dirt in front of you to distinguish you. I should dig up some more dirt. Get me back to the stack of old pack dirt. Wolf. Oh, I, I probably don't really want to be using my bronze shovel, but then, I don't know. 
What am I going to do with it? Start it, carry it. Whatever. It probably shouldn't be being used right now. Whoa! Maybe we'll set up our first temporary camp there at the trader. Make some play things. Grass, fire, the ceramic, otherwise known as clay. Got this loud music on again. Wow. Wow. It just likes to build and build. Okay. Okay. What do I need to have go with you? This, this is a large pelt. Right. So we have a large and a medium, and I think it's Takes two mediums to do whatever. Okay, so we can't do that one. One large. Okay. So 
So medium is going to take. Oh, you're not quite done. Whatever. Okay. Whoa. One raw crucible, thank you. Mm-hmm. So we have a crucible. Making a pickaxe mold that I can do faster than Napster. Oh, I see something. an errant setting. What are you coming to bother me for? I'm sitting here making the wrong stuff. Boy, it seems be quiet. Music's on, right? No, music is off. All right, well, we don't care about you, Alt's mold. I don't know how I screwed that up. Pickaxe. Maybe it's uh, eight telling me that that's what I need. Well, thanks, fate. 
Apparently I'll just listen to my own experience and keep doing the spears. And yes, I did notice something was odd. Okay, crucible. Now a hammer, raw hammer mold. Understand that. Rephrase that. I don't remember it ever being like that before. So I'm hungry, you say. How did that not... Uh...
If I were to set the world on fire, the crater would still exist. This cart would not burn down. We're not going to put that uh, statement to the test. But that is how it is. We can kill everything else. Oh, I know what I didn't make. That I want to make. Ingot molds. Whatever. I haven't configured Napster yet. Because if I had, this would be four at a time, not one at a time. Just like copy mode is. Okay. my sticks. So we need... Well, we could use firewood on that, actually. Sure, that's the exact number. Okay. So we light and it just takes time.
Ancient Midnight. You notice the light change? I did. Was that every midnight? Letting us know that five days before the drifters begin to spawn. Not that I don't like the tall grass. It's not that I think it looks better without it. It's not that I have a compulsion to do this. So this will be 20 hours. 19 hours, 18, so 19 hours. It'll be uh, a bit over 10 minutes. As long as I'm here. It's will take advantage. So could use another medium pelt. Dear hyenas. Come here, hyenas. Is that peat over there, by the way? Or just medium fertility soil? Yeah, it's just not wet here. So a hyena would be perfect. Well, I need a hyena and a piece of fat would be perfect. No guarantee that the one will have the other. Oh. Let's see if this boy's got fat. He's got good weight, so reasonable chance that he has fat on him. So fur coat, if we use mediums, we need five. And the gloves, medium takes two. So, you know. Maybe I should go find some more food. I do have some meat to cook now. There are two volunteers right there. Three volunteers. Even if they don't know it. Logie. 
so temporally unstable here, eh? Can I stack you two? Apparently. something hey I don't remember authorizing that for two. Well, wow, what a waste. Been using one for one. Who knew? Clearly not I. Alright. Let's go cook some more bush meat. you lovely forty six holy crap Got enough heights for whatever.
Oh, that's nice. Teeny tiny little bunny rabbit, don't come over here and die. some blackberry. That works. Surely I didn't put this on too, did I? And that's what this trip is supposed to be about. This uh, this let's play. It's supposed to be about going out into the wild, foraging, and just living off of the land, whatever the land provides, or whatever you can harvest from the land. Keep yourself fed, basically. I mean, that's yes, that's really. I hadn't really thought of it in those terms, but yeah, I mean, that. I guess that's the goal, is to keep yourself fed. Because it's not about building a beautiful base, it's not about, uh, it's not about getting to steal, I guess. I doubt that I'd ever get to steal playing this way. You could get the iron just because you could find it and, you know, you set up a temporary base and fire up some uh, fire clay. I don't know. It's going to be rough. It's going to be very different. I don't know if it's going to be rough or not, but it will be different. And I guess that was the point. something different. Well, I think we got enough berries. Sticks are most assuredly in demand.
I think rope ladder might be more important in this play style. You're only going to be able to have what you carry on your back, basically. Yeah, I really haven't. Really didn't think how difficult this is going to be. I know I said you know no no permanent base right, but maybe well I don't know if I have a permanent place where I store things that's kind of the same thing as a permanent base. So I'm not sure that I am living with the spirit of what I want to do. Not sure that fits. Well, we are in the land of all the uh, forget-me-nots you could want. Which I do want, but I don't need. Therefore, no reason to collect them. Unless I remember wrong, it's just this and sticks. Yeah, so no lumber needed. No saw. when it was too late I saw that stuff temporarily stored and uh, temporary workplace I guess uh, can I get through here and if I can is there any thing to see once I do now scope this will be interesting to see if I've kept track of where I was and able to get back looks like I'm coming right back where I expected to when I wasn't trying to come right back out to the trader just come right back out to where this stuff is and the trader should be over here if the trader is not over here heavily temporal storm approaching I hope this guy has a bed guess I better find out Is this 
there has a bed. He does, so I can sleep on that through the storm. Perfect. And we definitely came back with food. So we've got about 14 minutes. Maybe we can find some more vines to collect. music and that's what that sounds like to me so rope ladder does not replace wooden ladders but for cave exploration to me they make much more sense rope ladder because they're retractable they don't get left behind but again not a substitute well it looks like we're going to have to pick this up in the next episode because this one is over so thank you so much for watching i've had fun playing when we return temporal storm will be pretty much upon us and uh if you like what i'm doing please consider subscribing to my channel if you watch a video and you like it oh and by the way to all those who already have subscribed thank you so much um, if you have questions, comments, anything, please do post those on my, uh, in the comments on my videos. And come watch the next one with me, won't you? Thank you. Goodbye.